Hi everyone. I'd like to get uh, this review of the Electrify America site started with a little location of the uh, Greensboro area and a map of North Carolina. Uh, Greensboro is in northern central North Carolina and just quickly if you head south out of Greensboro on 74 that'll take you through Ashboro and the North Carolina Zoo is located there very nice continue south you'll be in South Carolina if you go to the southeast I'm sorry southwest out of Greensboro on 85 uh, you will head for Charlotte a little over an hour's drive if you go west uh, out of Greensboro first you'll come to Winston-Salem uh, home of Wake Forest University and that continues on west through Statesville crosses Interstate 77 there and through Hickory Morganton and you end up in Asheville North Carolina well-known uh, tourist site and very close to the border with Tennessee now if you take that route 40 out of Greensboro Interstate 40 uh, just past Winston it splits off to Highway 421 not an interstate but a major road and that goes almost straight west into the mountains of North Carolina through Wilkesboro up to Boone North Carolina and I would be remiss if I did not mention that that's the home of Appalachian State they've got a great school great football team uh, just a few years ago they beat Michigan uh, in one of the opening games of the season and this year they beat UNC so fine school uh, up in the mountains if you like that type of country and a great place to to visit um, if you head on up to the northwest or straight north out of Greensboro you're going to be in Virginia very quickly um, highway 29 going a little bit to the northeast uh, will take you to Danville uh, Virginia in less than an hour from Greensboro so uh, those are some of the major roads and of course there is one more taking 40 to the and 40 and 85 running to the east you will come to first Burlington and then Durham Chapel Hill and just a few miles farther down the road Raleigh North Carolina Raleigh's the home of NC State Chapel Hill's the home of UNC and the Tar Heels and Durham is the home of the Duke Blue Devils these schools the three schools I just mentioned have 14 NCAA basketball championships among them and they're all located within about 20 miles of each other so great basketball country all right now got you located you you see where we are and you can probably see on the map the address for the uh, Electrify America station on Elmsley uh, just below the Greensboro name and that's where we're going to be zooming in on one of the reasons for a slight downgrade to this location is that it's on Interstate 85 which runs around the south side of Greensboro uh, Interstate 40 coming through town and connecting with Business 85 which is the green interstate logo uh, then reconnects with uh, 85 going to the east and both of them head out towards Burlington and points to the east so the only way to get a charge from 40 is either to take 73 down from uh, coming from the west heading east and catch 85 and go over to the charge station or if you're coming from uh, the other direction you can head west get on 85 and find it that way but if you're on 40 you're gonna have to get off 40 either catching 73 or one of the roads in town that will take you down to Elmsley Drive in this bird's eye view you see the exit off of 85 to uh, you have to go north and then take a left turn at the intersection to get on Elmsley Drive and the Walmart Supercenter where the charges are located is to the left in the picture here uh, on the right are several restaurants that are they're several hundred yards away you could walk to several of them but it's a, it'd be a decent 
hike while your car is charging if you like. There's a Cracker Barrel, a Wendy's, um, there is uh, a Zaxby's Chicken Place, a Starbucks, um, and a couple of others that uh, are in this region. Uh, when you get over to Walmart uh, at the charge station, there is a McDonald's inside the Walmart. And the chargers are actually located roughly at the location of the S in Sally's uh, beauty parlor, I guess, uh, in this photo. Okay, this is the Electrify America station at the Walmart Supercenter in Greensboro off Elmsley Drive. As you can see, there's eight units. Uh, each has two CCS plugs, and one of them has a Chatamo. We even have a Chevy Tahoe that's uh, not charging, and he's not really icing. I don't know what you want to call it. He's parked in that hash cross hash area between a couple of units. Probably handicapped. Anyway, this is at the Walmart. Swing around, you can see the Walmarts back here. This is a pretty standard arrangement, putting them on the to the right side, at least on these. This Walmart has uh, instead of a subway it's got a McDonald's inside and big parking lot uh, very close to Interstate 85 and uh, nice location 24 hours bathrooms available that type of thing there's a you can see there's a security light behind the station and of course they're all around the parking lot so that's pretty good so we appreciate Walmart having these, uh, you know, working out a deal with Electrify America to get these things installed. And this is the largest group of units that I've seen in North Carolina. So Greensboro, North Carolina is on the map with the electric chargers. Okay, now let's take a look at the rating for this site. The accessibility is pretty good. I've given it an 8 out of 10. It is close to I-85, but that is the only interstate that uh, is, is right beside it. There's You have to go at least 3 miles or so to get from 40 to this location. Icing, as we saw with the Tahoe there, could be a problem. That's going to be something they have to keep an eye on. And there are no pull-through sites for EVs with a, with a trailer. The amenities are pretty good, but again, there's no uh, other restaurants on site besides the McDonald's at Walmart. The others you can walk to, but it doesn't look real good for like a family with kids or something, especially, or somebody that's a little bit older that uh, doesn't want to take that walk, and it's along some busy streets. So... Although those restaurants are not too far away, they are not in the immediate vicinity. Walmart is open 24-7. Uh, of course, you have access to restrooms, and it does have a McDonald's. There are good security lights in the public areas, but again, no canopy for cars or protection from the weather. The concentration is terrific. This is the largest set of stations I've seen in North Carolina. Um, and the speed is going to be the fastest anywhere. They have just upgraded as of October the 7th, 2019. Uh, the speeds are at max now. Not all of them are operational, but uh, they were running at 50 kilowatts limited. And now they are up to 150 kilowatts at three of the stations, uh, 350 kilowatts at two of them, and the Chatamo is at 50 kilowatts. That work was finished on the 11th of October 2019. And finally, uh, the location, I gave it a 9 out of 10 for being close to the interstate, but several miles from 40. It does, however, serve two nearby apartment complexes That'll be great for those folks.